I'm standing here in front of the Burn Peak Ranger Station, which is our mountain biker vacation rental. If you missed the videos about this, we have amenities here like a bike wash station, an entire workshop complete with tools, and of course, we're really close to trailheads and things like that. Now for rainy day activities, we're gonna be adding another amenity today, and that is an RC crawler course. You've seen these crawlers in other videos. They're just like full-size four-wheel drive vehicles, but they're much smaller. And we're gonna be building a designated area that people can drive them. So we're actually gonna be setting up a spot in the workshop where the crawlers are gonna live, where they're gonna get recharged, and where people can drive them out into the backyard and have fun with them. Now, should anybody worry about them getting stolen or damaged, we've actually thought this through. People had the same concern about the bike workshop. Why don't we go in there and I'll show you how that's been going. So this is our bike workshop, complete with hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of tools. Every single tool that we put in here on day one is still exactly where I left it. And I know people have been using them because you can see the wear and tear and everything. But not only that, people have left supplies here. We have a whole bunch of different types of chain lube. We have more chain lube over here. People have basically loaded us up with supplies and put all the tools back in great order. Now, being that all the guests have been so trustworthy thus far, I think we can trust them with a couple of little $120 RC crawlers, don't you think? So this is actually gonna serve a dual purpose. This slope is right where the drainage is, and so it's getting massacred by water constantly. So if we armor it with rock, not only can we use it as a crawler course, but it's also just gonna keep the slope together. This little swale over here, we're also gonna armor with rock, so people can drive out of the workshop, up the rock swale, and continue up here with these little crawlers. They're water resistant, you can do it in the rain. We're gonna go down to the stone yard and pick up some supplies and then figure out what we're gonna do here. That'd be a really cool transition rock. Stack them like, you know, like, like that. Come straight back, square it up, looking good. So I'd say priority number one is to dig out anywhere that's actual drainage and armor it. We can just have fun with the rest of the rocks. Clean the area, start dropping rock. Make sure it's not too difficult for the 24 scale. We'll be rocking. So while Kevin starts digging and prepping the slope, I'm gonna actually prepare the area that the cars are gonna live. We're gonna have to keep it organized because we don't want things to get lost. The Burn Peak Ranger Station is an experience, and so I want this to be an experience as well. this oh no there it goes so I am gonna put some spare batteries here and I actually have this fire safe bag if anything were to happen to the batteries not gonna harm my guests and not gonna harm my house and we have any extra batteries I'm gonna instruct people to put it into this bag right here this is exactly what I was hoping for all the water is gonna go down here and then we're gonna have rocks to climb up and armor it yeah, it's actually happening a lot faster. I think I'm about to go grab the first rock and set it here and just start building around it. All right, let's do it. come down off down there with our little ramp. I got a 
to see if this is even possible. Yeah, so check this out. I want you to take that deadbolt and climb up that ramp with it. So I just drive down. So dude. first drive down. Ooh. Oh! Okay, so it takes a little skill to get up it. It takes a little Put skill. Down it. Okay. So like, what am I doing wrong? It's flipping forward, so I almost need to like- You gotta go really baby it. Yep. Oh man. Yeah, you use your phone. I bet that's a 45. Yeah, that's a 45. Oh man. Oh, that was, that was good, that was skillful. Okay, so while Kevin's finishing that, I'm gonna start clearing out this area so that we can continue the crawler course up to the path that goes to the front. Super jank. Okay, we just built a little sand pit area, and since it's under an overhang, should stay nice, nice and loose. Welcome to the Burn Peak Ranger Station. In this video, I'm gonna be going over our micro crawler course and the micro crawlers that are here for your use. Let's go into the bike shop and I'll show you where we keep them. Here opposite the bike tool wall is our micro crawler station. We have tools and of course we have our micro crawlers. I do recommend that you keep the crawlers and the spare batteries inside this bag, especially when they're charging. In case of the unlikely event that the LiPo batteries inside them burn the entire neighborhood down. The transmitters are labeled. This is for the C10, which is this little pickup truck right here. If it's plugged in, you can just pop the plug out. To use it, you're gonna turn the transmitter on first and then on the passenger side, there's a little switch and you'll see the headlights come on and that means you're on. Now these are in fact toys, but they are hobby grade toys. And so they're not like child proof or anything like that. You can break them. So if you give this to a kid and they try to push it, it's actually gonna break the gearing inside of it. So don't do that. Now in the unlikely event that you do break one of these crawlers, don't sweat it. Just let the property manager know so I can come bring a replacement and make a repair to it. So I encourage you to take the ramp down so you can get a feel for how the crawlers work before you take them out onto the course. Now, because they're hobby grade, they have proportional controls. What that means is that if you pull the trigger just a little bit, it goes very slow. To get down this ramp, 
you have to go very, very slow and carefully. As you can see, it wants to slide its way down. So if you can make it down this ramp successfully, well, you've learned a thing or two about crawling. Going back up the ramp is not so straightforward. You can see it struggles to get traction, and so this takes a little bit of practice too. If you're struggling to get traction, you can try steering left and right to find some place for the tire to bite into. And so this ramp can be a good bit of practice to get yourself acquainted with these micro crawlers. All right, so once you're out of the bike shop, you can drive up the gravel path and to the crawler course. Doesn't matter what line you take, there are no rules. I just recommend you try and go slow. You can play games with other guests like horse or follow the leader. Challenge your friends to take a line and take the same one they did. You can get them wet, you can get them muddy, you can even take them over to the bike wash station and hose them off. It's okay if these roll down the hill, it's okay if they get wet. Like I said, crawling is a recreational activity. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But there are a few tips and tricks that I can give you about these little units. Now, this is an SCX24 made by Axial. So if you have any questions about it, I left the manual downstairs and you can just Google it. To change the battery, you're gonna remove these two body pins from the front of the crawler just by pulling on them. The lid just flips back and exposes the entire inside of the unit. Now, as you can see, there's a little red plug that says bat next to it. This is the plug for the motor and it's exactly the same size. And so you could mistakenly plug the battery in here if the motor gets unplugged. If that happens, then this is going to light on fire. So always make sure that you plug the battery into the red battery plug. The transmitter could be out of batteries. Now I've left additional double A's down in the shop and you can just replace them like you would anything else that takes double A's. If somebody leaves the crawler on until the battery drains all the way down, the battery may never recharge again. So we have multiple batteries that you can try just in case that is the case. Now, when you are done using the crawler, make sure you turn off the transmitter and you turn off the unit. So those are the micro crawlers and the micro crawler course here at the Burn Peak Ranger Station. And of course, you're welcome to bring your own crawler, your 10 scale crawler. The course will hold up to just about any of it. Enjoy your time here at the Burn Peak Ranger Station. Hopefully you're out mountain biking, but if you get a rainy day or some downtime, the crawlers are here for your enjoyment. The Burn Peak Ranger Station opened last spring, and since then, we've become super hosts on Airbnb, we've gotten nothing but good feedback, and we've gotten tons of really nice messages from all of you who have stayed here. I left a link below where you can look at our listing and even book a stay, but we have very limited availability even out to 2022. But with that, I know this was a little different. We use a lot of the things that we know from building mountain bike trails to build this micro crawler course. It's durable, it's fun, it actually provides some functionality with our drainage. And if you are staying at the ranger station in the near future, we hope you enjoy playing with these micro crawlers. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time.